Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> going on pom-pom gay welcome back to another pom-pom sisters a youtube channel and if you are new hey sis how you doing so in this video we will be featuring kaylani the middle pom-pom sister with her type 2 wavy thick hair like i cannot emphasize on how thick Kaylani's hair is. So um, we are gonna do some bubble ponytails, a cute little style that probably lasts about two to three days for Kaylani. And we are going to start off by detangling her hair and parting it down the middle so we can have two sections. Now when I detangle Kaylani's hair, I always try to do it when it is dry versus when it is wet. Her hair is a lot more fragile in its wet state and it's just a lot easier and I feel like I don't have as much um, shed hair or fallout or whatever you want to call it when I do detangle her hair. So I'm not being very thorough while I'm detangling her hair. I want it to be as fluffy as possible because with this bubble ponytail style, we're going to need that volume to create those nice juicy bubbles within the ponytail. And we're using some hair knockers or hair balls. I'm not quite sure what's the term for them. I'm gonna spritz her hair with some water and that's just to help with those flyaways at the root of her hair. As you can see, she has a ton of little fuzzies at the root and around her edges. And that's just gonna help smooth that hair right on out. And then we're gonna go in with a gel. I am very heavy handed on gels when it comes to Kaylani's hair. When it comes to moisturizers, not too much, but when it comes to gels, I do try to make sure that I am lathering her hair in it only because she experiences so many flyaways. The gel that I use is an eco styler gel and that's just to add extra hold to her hair because we do want this style to last at least two to three days. Sometimes if I'm desperate and her hair is just not cooperating with me, I'll use the eco styler gel plus a spray on gel. Usually I use a Diva Curl or um, a Aussie. I also have an Aussie spray gel and I only use that on Kaylani's curls. It does nothing for Kalia's hair. Uh, it doesn't make her hair hard surprisingly with all this gel that I use on her hair. And I don't know why it does it because it's just insane to me. But the crazy amount of gel that I use on Kaylani's hair, her hair is never hard. So I'm going in with a fine tooth comb and a soft bristle brush just to smooth out that gel. And then she ended up breaking <laughs> my comb. So that just lets y'all know how thick her hair is. And all I was go doing was going around the edges of her hair to smooth out the edges and it broke my fine tooth comb. So, I mean, the little girl has thick hair. I use two rubber bands to secure her hair. I'm not gonna go in with a hair tie. That's only because we're gonna add the hair knockers as the added security to holding her bun. I don't know if I used the right words there, but yeah. So we're just going in with the rubber bands because we're gonna also add the hair knockers. knockers are fairly easy to use you just wrap it around a ponytail and then you'll tie it off by looping the rubber band around the second hairball and that is pretty much it you can make it as tight or as loose as you would like it's to your own discretion and they're fairly cheap like I usually can get a pack for like two dollars they come in so many different colors and varieties I grew up wearing these so I absolutely hated them but the girls for some reason love them so I have I have a, purchased a couple. I have like pink and purples and rainbows and clear, white, all the colors that you could think of. But for this video, we're just going in with the white and the clear ones. And that's just because the white and clear will go with literally any and everything that they'll wear for the next couple of days.
Now, like I said, this style is going to need a volume to create those nice pretty little bubbles in her ponytail. I just go in with my dimming brush and I brush her hair in the opposite direction that it falls. And that's just going to make it fluff up a little bit. Not too much because we don't want to create a matte ball or any kind of crazy entanglement that will give us hell when we take this style out. So I just lightly go through it. Since her hair has already been previously brushed out, it's already a little bit fluffy. So I didn't require too much of the teasing of her hair in order to get that fullness that I wanted. I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward through the second half of her hair since we're pretty much doing the same thing we did on the other side this style took about 20 minutes for me to style which is about the going rate for styling Kehlani's hair she's the easiest to style next to Boo, who's the youngest and has very thin hair. The only thing is that her hairstyles just don't last as long as I would like. For Kalia, I usually can style her hair in this and she'll probably hold it for at least a week. Kehlani, I'm lucky if I get three days. And that's just because of the type of hair that she has. It's very slick, it's very smooth and soft. It's not as textured as Kalia. So sometimes it's just a struggle with trying to get protective styles to last, but it's all good because she looks cute in whatever she has in. So so I'm just going in to style her edges real quick. Nothing crazy, just a cute little swoops, and she is all hey, done. Look, look money. Take the camera. Ooh. Look at you. Ooh. Daddy, you're so annoying. <laughs> all right. Another cute hairstyle for some hairstyle inspiration on type two wavy hair. Thank you guys for joining us on our video. Please hit the subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed to our channel and check out our other mini hair tutorial videos. And if you want more inspiration on wavy hair care, there is a nice little playlist, a little category in our uh, channel called wavy hair care. You can check out all the videos featuring Kehlani. Thank you for watching. Make, you, make sure you like and subscribe. Bye-bye.